Hello everybody, I'm David Jones Gilardi, Developer Relations Engineer. Now, I'd like to give you a brief overview of Langflow. So Langflow is a no-code uh, solution that allows you to visually chain together Gen AI workflows. Think things like chatbots or RAG applications, AI assistants, agents, whatever you can dream up really. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a very basic example. Okay, so once you have Langflow installed and you are running it, you'll see an interface that looks something like this. Uh, notice the start here link. I'm going to click that and boom, I have a blank canvas. Now take a look in the left hand side. You can see all these components. Now there are an absolute ton here in Langflow. So what I'm going to do is instead of trying to go through every single one and explain them, let's go ahead and take a look at the ones we need specifically for just a basic chatbot, right? So we're going to build a basic chatbot right now, like in a minute. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to go to inputs. I'm going to grab a chat input. Why? Because I want some way that I can interact with my chatbot and I can talk to it. Um, so I need to have some mechanism so I can enter in a user generated message, right? So that'll be the chat input. Now, I want to set some context with the LLM. I want to tell it, like, what is its job? What is it doing, right? So I'm going to create a prompt. Now, in this, I have a prompt template. I'm just going to pop one in here. And I'm saying, answer the user as if you were a pirate, right? And so I'm telling it, this is your job, right? And this is the user input. Now notice here the curly brace, user input, curly brace, right? So what we're doing with those curly braces is we're telling Laneflow, I want you to create a user input variable to expose in the component. And you'll see where that comes in in just a moment. Okay, great. So we're going to answer the user if we're a pirate. We have our user input, and then we have an answer. I'll say check and save. Now take a look at what just happened here. The component updated and it's using the variable we just set in our prompt in those curly braces, right? User input. So this allows me a really quick and easy way to just wire these things up once we get going. Okay, great. We have our input, we have our prompt. Now I want to feed that into a large language model um, that I can use to start having a conversation with. Now, Langflow has support for all sorts of models, right? So today I'm just going to use OpenAI. I happen to already have an account with them and a key, so I'm just going to use that. But it is agnostic to the various models. You can actually switch these up as, as, as you see fit, right? So if you want to use a different model, experiment with a different model, all sorts of things, you can just drag in the one that you want. And then finally, I need some way for the model to talk back to me. So I'm going to create a chat output. Let's zoom out a little bit, give a little room, spread things out a little bit. OK, make this look nice. OK, wonderful. So I have the basic structure of a chatbot, right? I have an input. I'm setting my prompt with some context. What is LLM going to do? Which LLM am I using? I'm using OpenAI in this case, and then some output. OK, so let's wire these together now. Um, so first thing I want to do is I want to take the output of my chat input, because this is how I'm going to talk to it, right? I'm going to take the output. I'm going to wire it up to the prompt. Remember, this is going to set our user input. Now I'm going to take the output of the prompt that's done, the text here. I'm going to wire that up to the input of our LLM. And then I'm going to take the output of our LLM, and I'm going to wire that up to the chat output so I can have this full end-to-end -end capability. Now, once I've done this, and you'll see these little play buttons. If I click a play button, um, then it will go through and kind of build each of these and let me know if anything's wrong. And oops, I forgot a key, right? So it looks like I need an OpenAI key for OpenAI. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those. And now I'll paste that in. Now, a really cool feature, by the way, of Langflow is the ability to store global variables, and it can also store secure credentials. So right now, I'm storing this just raw. Um, thankfully, you know, a nice feature of Langflow is that it'll automatically obscure the text, um, but that's really not a good practice, right? So I can click on this little global icon, say, add new variable, come in here, give it some name, and then the type here. So if I store it as a credential, it's going to store it securely, right? It won't allow it to just store out in the open. Um, and then I can paste the value. Now, what's super cool about this is when I save that variable, it will then store a global variable that is available to all of my flows, right? So I can have one key that I can share across. So it's a really nice feature. All right, but for right now, I'm just going to I'm just going to keep it raw. All right, so let's go ahead and recheck that now that I have a key. And let's see, ah, yes, so I resolved the issue. Let's go ahead and finish this one off. So this is a really nice way as you want to get through. You want to make sure you get those green check marks. And then I'm going to go to the playground to go ahead and test it out. So I'm going to say hi. And oh, here we go. So it's talking to me like a pirate. And I like some rum. Okay, what pirate wouldn't like rum, right? And you hear the, ah, you'll be speaking me language, matey, right? You're, 
yeah, I think you get the idea. <laughs> you know, we're talking we're talking to the pirate LLM at this point. So it's just a super basic chatbot, um, but you can see we have this full interaction. Now, Langflow goes one step further though. Great, we have this Gen AI workflow wired up, but I want to embed this in my application, right? I want to be able to execute it from my application. So if you go down to API here, I say API, and you see I have a curl with HTTP, or I could use a Python API, I can embed it, you know, chat widget, all sorts of things that I could use to then expose this flow in a no-code fashion into my applications. And there you have it. That's just a basic Gen AI workflow that we very quickly implemented with Langflow.